Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. What I wanted to share with you today is a quick little insight into the options membership plan that we offer. So if you're into trading options, if you want to get a quick glimpse and idea of what goes on behind the scenes here, uh, we get a chance to really just work with you specifically hone in and work on a select few people uh, that attend either the live sessions, ask questions through the email, and that way we get trade ideas and setups uh, for the current market conditions. So if you're interested in joining, you'll get to see a quick clip right now. It's a little preview, it's cut, so you get to see an idea of what goes on behind the scenes. Again, if you're a member, you get the access to the full video. And some of those videos actually are quite long and lengthy and detailed. So they might be 38 minutes, 39 minutes, 17 minutes, 42 minutes. So as you can see, uh, they are quite detailed. Now to get this membership, what you could do is go to the tradersfly.com website and you can head on over to members section over here. By the way, there's a lot of great freebies over in this area or if you're brand new to options, just go ahead and go to the options trading 101 section. But when you click the members tab over here, you can go in, click the options, ideas and strategies and this will give you some ideas and insight of what it's really all about along with some FAQs. And for you being, uh, you know, watching YouTube here and checking things out, I've created a little coupon code for the first month. It's called Share the Love, and that's only available here during kind of this segment and uh, this video as you as you watch this. Uh, you might be watching this video, you know, a month or two after it's released, and if that's the case, uh, then the coupon may not work. So just understand that coupons do expire from time to time. Uh, but in this case, if you're interested in joining, check it out. You'll get 50% uh, off here. Uh, on the first month. So anyways, thank you so much. Enjoy the clip and I will see you next time. Okay, so I have a long kind of out of the money right here, vertical spread. And with that vertical spread, it cost me time, time decay. Really, I'm risking, let's say about $4,000. But how do I reduce that time decay but still get upside movement? Well, I do that by selling verticals against it and I get $83 of time decay, and I'm selling a shorter duration on this than the one I'm buying way out here. And together, this creates a construction like this. So really, as it goes up, like, you know, it was over here, as it goes up, I'm making only 18 delta, because without it, it would be like 342 uh, on just the, the call side, right, the, the, the bullishness. So it does reduce your delta exposure, but look at my theta. My theta is only 50, it's 59 versus without it, I'm losing 28 a day. So, cause I don't know if that stock's going up, but if it does, my end objective, think of your objective. Your end objective is for that stock to get kind of in this level. And then once it gets in this level, just kind of slowly decay with time, right? Because now you're in a safe zone. So how do we set this trade up? Let's go ahead and do one. You could do one on the bearish side as well. So here, let's say I wanna do CMG and I think, hey, this thing is gonna to toast. And I'm just using CMG as an example because maybe it went up too high, whatever. You know, Let's just take that as an example. So you're at this upper level. So what do you do? Okay, so here's the way that this trade is constructed. You could go 37 days, 44 days. You need a little bit, you know, 40 plus days, I'd say. Uh, if I could do 60, that'd be a little more ideal. 60, 65, 58. Uh, this one I have 128. So I could go ahead and if we're doing it on the put side, let's go ahead and do a buy a vertical. And we'll look at this trade right here. And I will do, let's say, 10 contracts just to make some of the numbers bigger. Okay, so now I've got this trade set up and I'm going to widen this spread a little. So we'll go to maybe something like this. So 20 point difference. I typically would recommend something around between a 30 and 20 delta. The reason for that is because it's, it has some chance to actually get there. If you go like 10 or five or 15, more than likely it's not gonna happen. But if you go like a 30, you can, it, it's more likely. If you go at 20, then you're really like, hey, the stock's been stretched. Again, the same thing on the other side. I would do maybe more of a 20 if the market sold off in a big way. I'd do more like a 30 or a 35 if we, um, if, if let's say on the call side, I do like a 35 on this side. So here's an idea. I would do a 35 on the call side if we're kind of in normal market conditions. But if we just sold off, I might do more like a 15 or a 20 because if the market sold off in a big way and it bounces, 
uh, the 20 is more, it, it, it has a, actually a higher chance. So in our case, if we're doing the put side, um, you know, the market's kind of at higher levels, you know, all time highs. I could actually do more like a 20. I'll do something around, let's say this 1000 level or so, uh, you know, even 20 will be fine. 1000 to 20 or 1030, there's kind of my spread. Um, let's go down to about five contracts using about $5,000 of cash. Now here's the issue with this. What's the problem? Well, I have a theta decay of about 12. My delta is negative 19. As you know, that stock moves quick. So I've got this theta decay problem. So what do I do? Well, I've got 128 days to go. So I could go to the 16 day time frame and think about it. If I sell call verticals, that means a direction of downside. If I sell put verticals, I'm looking for a direction of upside. So let's sell a vertical, okay? So in a way I'm selling the same area as I am where I'm, I'm buying a put vertical, but I'm selling a short put, put vertical against it. Uh, and that'll give me like an upside movement and exposure. So let's go kind of something like this. Uh, let's go maybe two, three contracts. Let's see if we can go something here. Um, and which one do I want to choose now? Okay, so the one that I want to choose is maybe a 10 delta is fairly safe. If I go maybe around 20, that's 1100. Uh, so 20 is a little less safe, but it can protect me a little faster. So there's the 1100 and let's go maybe 1150. And I'll bring that into maybe 1170 and bring that to 1090. It's just kind of giving myself a little bit more room there. Okay, maybe not perfect. Let's go something like that. Okay, so I've got my, my vertical there uh, using 4,000 to make about one, maybe not exactly perfect. So some of the strikes are a little off. They don't look exactly right. So I think 1,100, let's see here, 10, 1080 might be a little bit better. So, okay, so I'm looking to make about $360, which is not a lot, but here's what this does. If it goes up on me, I still lose money but without that protection, I'd lose $700. With that little bit of protection, I'd lose $500. So it cushions me just a little bit. It's a slight cushion. But the big thing is, is it protects you from the time decay. That's really why I'm getting it, is I'm getting it for the time decay because without it, I'm losing 12 a day. With it, I'm losing eight a day. And I could stack this up a little bit and stack even more contracts to where I'm making you know, and breaking even a little bit on that on that time decay or value. Um, but what you want to do is just kind of reduce your time decay. You know, you're trying to reduce that time decay problem. All right, so there you go. Hope you got a good insight and quick glimpse into seeing what the options membership is all about. I really hope you join us by just going to the tradersfly.com website. When you're there, check out some of the freebies that we also offer and uh, go to that membership section and sign up. And this way you get some more insight on the current market conditions, how to trade it a little differently when the VIX is high, when the VIX is low, different types of strategies you may take a look at, some of the pros and cons of the different strategies and what may work a little better for you and your personal situation. Anyways, thank you so much. If you're brand new, remember to hit subscribe here on YouTube to join us uh, and that way you keep uh, seeing some of the new videos that we release or join our newsletter list by clicking the link over here. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.